The Momentum 1.3 update is here. Let's take a look at some of the highlights included. In addition to many stability improvements, we've added velocity sensitivity while triggering samples from the slice page. With this added dynamic capability, creating a drum part like this becomes even more flexible and musical. Now in shop mode, we've also included a release time knob. To hear the entirety of a triggered slice, move the knob all the way to the right. Now moving the knob further to the left will result in shorter and shorter release times for each slice played. Both stutter and reverse slice effects have some helpful new additions as well. The stutter effects has increased the options for stutter speeds, with 10 different speeds going from a quarter note up to a 64th note and everything in between. Also, a new stutter slice effect parameter called repeats has been added to the effect, letting you choose how many stutters you'd like to play back. For the reverse slice effect, we've added a global parameter called crossfade, making for better results on certain types of loops. With this particular loop, with reverse slice effect turned on for all slices, you'll hear slight pops between some of the reverse samples with crossfading at a minimum. Now increase the crossfading until the reverses sound seamless. The last update we'll look at is the new ability to adjust your starting octave for slices to be mapped, which is ideal if you are using a pad controller to start on a specific MIDI note other than the default momentum is set to. Our goal is to make momentum better and better, and we are just getting started. So keep a lookout in the future for big new things coming to momentum. <laughs>